Now, I've been going to Strega, the regular Strega on the North End for a long time. We love the food there. And it seems like Nikki brought all the chefs over here because the food is top notch. It is so terrific. I was blown away when I came and I couldn't believe it. Nick is an amazing guy, fabulous restaurant. This party is probably one of the best opening parties I've ever been to. And I, I've actually had to have a few of my restaurants, but Nick knows how to throw a party. Hi, I'm Jennifer Manley, and welcome back to Dirty Water TV. And I'm Monica Pietrzak, and we are still here on the red carpet for the grand opening of Strega, and the food smells. <gasps> you can. Amazing. So, dishes are going by, and I can smell the tomato sauce. Nick has his own line of sauce. He's got it lined up over there. I mean, Absolutely. this guy is into everything right now. I know. And you know what? Thursday nights are pretty great, but that's not the only thing that we have going on here. Yeah. So, you know, if you're going to party through the whole weekend, you start here at Strega, Thursday nights, you go out all weekend, and you end. Where else? Clark's Sunday Fun Day. Oh, Morgan yeah. Chase is over there. Take it away, Morgan. Hey guys, time for another Sunday Fun Day here at Clark's, and this week we brought along some friends to make it even more fun. In addition to half price appetizers, drink specials, and the hottest tickets in town, we have beer pong. So let's get it started. You know that whenever you come to Clark's Sunday Fun Day, you're going to have a great time and end your weekend right. You can't beat Clark's amazing bar food and specialty cocktails. It's the best way to make the weekend last one night longer. And this week, instead of my Morgan needs to know question of the week, we gave the spotlight to the Snatch Alley Tables boys and took it to the beer pong tables. We're here on Sunday, our, the idea is to run a tournament, double elimination, and uh, give away tickets to the Celtics or cash prize just for kids that come out a couple hours on a Sunday and have some fun, play some pong here at Clark's. I pretty much build all the tables for Snatch Alley and we keep the tournaments going across the state. We also build custom tables for people uh, where they can go onto our website, they create their own table, we build it for them. We've done anything from, you know, a Boston skyline to, you know, pictures of Fenway. The crowd tonight at Clark's was so receptive of the beer pong tables, Dirty Water TV has made it a point to make them a permanent fixture of Sunday Fun Day. Well, Sunday Fun Days don't get much better than this. We got our party on and extended our weekends, and now that we've got beer pong in the mix, I'm gonna grab a cold $3 draft and join the festivities. Reporting for Dirty Water TV, I'm Morgan Chase. We're joined now by Chaz Palm and Terry. Thank you so much for joining us. So, you walked the red carpet, you're coming in here. Why, why are you here in Boston? I'm here because of this great restaurant and because of Nick. Nick called me and said, look, I'm opening up this place, Strega, and I used to go to Strega when I was doing my one-man show here last year, and I remember the incredible food I had. It was like, really, the best Italian food I've had in a long time. I mean, I love New York, but I said, wow, in Boston, they make great food here. And then Nick told me they were doing this. He asked me if I would come up, and I said, no, I'll, uh, I'll stop up. So you've been to that Strega, it's, you know, it's tiny compared to this. This is unbelievable, huh? Uh, this is pretty outstanding. This is pretty outstanding. And I have to ask, what's your favorite on his menu? His menu is amazing. What's your favorite food? You know, I, the, the, the pasta's great. I love all his sauces. The pasta's great and gnocchi's great. Uh, I just, I love pasta, you know. I shouldn't eat it too much, but I do. You're infamous for Sunny. Well, Bronx Tale is about my life. I'll be performing the one-man show here in Foxwoods. Yes. At Foxwoods, the 19th, 20, 21st. We gotta cut it down, Collodro. I say we call you C. Tell me about that scene with the with the bikers. You say, now you can't leave. What was going on behind this? That didn't really happen in your life, did it? What, what, what happened was exactly the way you started the movie. I was 16, the bikers came in, they did the wrong thing, and, and that's what happened. Now you just can't leave. I will never forget the look on their faces. All eight of them. Their faces dropped. All their courage and strength was drained right from their bodies. Remember me. <laughs> the other line, too, that, you know, the uh, unlocking the door. Unlock it. Do you unlock the door? I do. Only, only from the Bronx tail. You take out the key, put in the lock, open the door for her. Then you let her get in. Then you close the door for her. Then you walk around the back of the car and you look through the rear window. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you so you can get in, dump her. Just like that? Sweeter than the taste of a cherry so sweet. Yeah. Yes! And I'm so proud. I, I meet a lot of people today that, that I run into, they say, this is my wife, she passed the door test. And I say, okay. You're a very busy guy. Yeah. What's coming up for you? Like I said, I'll be doing that show at Foxwoods, and then I'm going to be directing the movie. 
I'll be directing a movie called Mob Street that I wrote next year. I'll be in Vegas next week doing my one-man show with the Venetian from the 7th to the 18th. Up next, it's the Miller Lite Bar Hawk. And we'll go inside Strega Waterfront with owner Nick Verano when Dirty Water TV returns. Making so good. I just like making sure everybody has a good time, you know? Hi, I'm Chaz Palmateri, and I love that Dirty Water TV.